Hello YouTube, what is going on? Winter is coming here, back again by popular demand. I heard my soothing voice was quite missed on the YouTube, so uh, back again. Going to be doing a beer review tonight. Uh, the beer tonight is kind of special. It hasn't really even been released yet. To uh, Most people haven't had their hands on this one. Kind of hard to see. But it's from Forefathers Brewing Co. And they're out of, I think they're brewing out of, uh, around Rockwood, Ontario. So I went back home to KW last week for a little visit. And a good friend of mine, Aaron, he uh, picked me up a bottle of this. I guess he's friends with the owners. I really don't know a whole lot about the brewery. I, I've heard that one of the brewers from Wellington, uh, they broke off from the brewery and started this up with some buddies. Um, the, these are the guys that are only going to be selling initially in these big 750 bottles. Um, no cans, no smaller single format. And they're going, they're not your typical like entry level craft. They're going for big Belgian beers, sours, imperials, etc. So it sounds kind of exciting. Uh, what I have here is their SM double. So it's a Belgian double, and I'm going to assume that's a single malt uh, Belgian double. I don't, don't know the specifics, don't know what malt we use, but uh, yeah, kind of special that I have my hands on this before it's really hit the market. So uh, let's crack her open and get into it. Again, big 750, no details on the bottle, no idea what the percentage is. I'm going to assume somewhere in the 7, 7 to 9 range. Alright, lots of carbonation going on in there. Appearance, when you hold it up to the light, I'm getting like a ruby, like a blood, blood red, ruby red. Um, a bit of orange at the tin, at the the edges. Well, quite a bit of carbonation in the front, for maybe half a finger's worth of head. It's really dissipating quite quickly. The very small, compact, uh, tight little bubbles. Again, the uh, the bubbles are almost gone now. It almost looks like um, like carbonation, or like a texture you'd ex expect from like a Coca Cola or some kind of dark pot. So, gonna be honest, I haven't had a whole lot of doubles. I've had an example from St. Bernardus, I believe, uh, one from Block Three, and most recently I was just at the North Winds Brewery tonight. I had their double, but that was barrel aged. Um, first thing I'm getting on the nose, it's really like a dark, dark fruit, almost like you'd expect from, uh, to a lighter extent, what you expect from the Belgian quads. Dark, rich fruits. Uh, not, not a lot of hoppiness. You're getting that real malt undertone. Um, yeah. Without further ado, let's uh, let's go for a taste, guys. Cheers. Oh wow, that's nice. Malty, quite malty and very sweet. It does have almost that Belgian, uh, that Belgian sweet candy characteristic that. You all know from your Belgian quads, your triples. Um, from the examples I've had, I think I actually prefer Belgian doubles over the triples. It's just more malt forward, uh, bigger, richer flavors, not as quite bitter or sour. This is quite pleasing. Uh, now, to be honest, I know some other Belgian beers are like, like the Rochefort 8s, Rochefort 10s. I believe the Rochefort 8 is just a Belgian dark ale. Um, I am getting the similarities between this and the Rochefort 8, and that's uh, that's quite high price. It's quite high prize, seeing as that's one of my favorite beers. Yeah, really, just that sweet, malty uh, Belgian candiness really rolls over the tongue. Not a whole lot of alcohol burn whatsoever. Again, I don't know, you know, this could be, I'm assuming it's over six uh, ABV, but I have no idea if this is anything in the seven to eight range, uh, that, that booze is, uh, that alcohol is really well hidden. No burn whatsoever. Full body. Oh, that aftertaste is awesome. It's almost like being pictured like a candied, uh, like a candied bread almost. You know, it's only been out of the fridge for 10 minutes or so. I probably could have benefited from warming this up a little more. I'm sure those flavors would pop at a warmer, uh, higher temperature. But even as is, uh, I'm very impressed with this beer. First offering I've had from the four, four fathers. Um, 
I don't know if they have plans of getting the SBO or not. They they may very well. Um, for now, I think they're just going to be focusing on the local local area around. I'm going to guess uh, KW to Guelph, Rockwood, that kind of area. Um, I'm impressed. I'm going to give that a. Um, oh yeah, that's definitely a nine. Uh, Four Fathers, single malt, Belgian double. I'm impressed. Nine out of ten. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Aaron. Cheers, YouTube.